guys, Mr. Zelio. Welcome to another Warframe video. So this is gonna be how to play low key and the tips and tricks. So as you guys know, low key. I actually I'm using low key prime just to uh, you know. I'm just I'm saying low key because you know those people who doesn't have low key prime wouldn't feel bad. So uh, you know screw that. Um, so low key has a unique kit which um, like only his ultimate which does that only that does damage so he's the only guy that can make your enemies look like a retard and why do I say so decoy invisibility and I don't know what to call that um, and, uh, decoy and switch teleport will make your enemy look like a pure retard your enemies yes all your enemy doesn't matter who your corpus, the cranius, your infested doesn't matter. It'll make all them look idiot. Even idiots. Even, even all it'll also make the boss look like look like idiots. Trust me. So decoy is a very useful kit that's to distract the enemy. Yeah, this that deploys a whole crap. It does not do damage, just should like, make let, make loud noise with the pistol which is holding. Attracting enemy fire att attracting enemies to attack it. Well, you can just go back them, behind them, and backstab them. And the invisibility is so obvious he can flush himself. And you can kill people when you're invisible. Yes, it's a pretty unique thing, and you can be detected by sensors doing spy missions. That's invisibility. And then now. Yeah, now we have switch teleport, which I say, and, and another way to actually trick idiots, yeah, but make enemy look like idiots, of course, um, is switch teleport. So what does this do is, you aim at a certain end uh, target, you switch teleport. Basically, you switch place with that person, like your, your position where you're in before, and you switch to that target position. Basically, also tricking the person, like tricking the enemy, the target. It'll make the target say, like, "Oh god, where am I? Oh god, I don't want to like something like that." Um, and then you can like just shoot him very pretty easily. But you only walk on one person. Yeah. So you, yeah, yeah. It's like, only that one target. And yeah, and I'm gonna show you some cool tricks you can do with your switch teleport after this, after this ability and crap. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, radial disarm. What does this do? Is that um, I like you know, um, it'll force uh, enemies around him in a close range to um, drop their weapons, even including drones. And actually, drones are for freaking pure weapon. So, as you guys know, drones they fly. Am I right? But if you have to use these skills against them, they'll fall to the ground and just attacks you like a. Melee attack. I can't pronounce melee, so I'm really sorry. Um, this doesn't affect melee people where they have melee, but you know, it'll affect people who have guns, so they'll just go uh, ham at you. This kill is pretty much useless during the um, infested missions, so I uh, pretty much good luck with that. Okay, as you guys can see, I've not finished uh, doing my mods, that's fine. Okay, so now what I sh what I think you should guys should get. There's also some a few mods that I have not added because I'm pretty low. Um, I'm only rank 24. No, no. I mean my Loki is rank 24. Really sorry about that. Really bad. I'm damn bad. I don't know really know how to train. Um, okay. You are not supposed to get all these mods. I'm you have to it, it, literally don't mute the video. Um, don't mute the video. I mean like um. What I mean by don't mute the video is like you can't hear what I say which is a mod to use for your for like, like Loki. Yeah. So you need a continuity. What does this do? It is increased the duration of the decoy. Um the decoy the and the invisibility. It will help it a lot, like try to max try to get a max yeah, max for this mod and 
it will definitely help a lot with the decoy and the invisibility. Ah, that's better. And get some streamline power efficiency. Why do you need that? Because Loki also uses a lot of energy, like most of the warframes, most of them. Yes, he uses a lot of energy, a lot. Let me just um, remove the defense gun because it's not really important. It's not important at all. Uh, yeah, and you're supposed to get power efficiency because here keep you have, you have to like keep spamming your decoy. Okay, like imagine you're doing a um, a survival mission with Loki, which is actually which is quite fun for Loki. Yeah, people thought he's only for assassin missions, those called spy missions. Yeah, but it's that's not it. You can also do survival missions. Trust me, you can. You can also do boba defense, door defense, if it's decoy, and why not you yeah, just spam your you gotta use one decoy at a time so yeah just imagine that one decoy is dead yeah oh yeah I forgot to I mention one thing decoys can die yes they can die from enemy fire if they manage to kill it or the duration run out runs out oh god what am I sorry me um so now the next one is you need to get flow it's not really important if you have a freaking energy siphon which I sold it away because I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, gee. get this if you can. Get it to max flow. This not. This is. I would say this my preference to my build. I you should actually get some redirect direction because low key has a very low armor. Yes, get some direct redirection. If you ran out of energy and you can't decoy invisibility, you can't do that. Or just about you have to build it three direction. It will help you a lot if yeah, if, yeah, you need this. I don't suggest using vitality on him because yeah, not a good suggestion. These are some. Oh yeah, hold on. I forgot. I forgot one more. Stretch. You you also need stretch. Why do you need stretch for? You ask. Well, it's for the teleportation. The Third ability, which I forgot what it's called. Um, yep, yeah, it increases the power range. Like you can teleport further away enemies. You can definitely make them like a pure idiot. Yes. Um, yes, it's a pretty cool ability. No, no, cool. A cool mod. It also you also help the ultimate with the fourth skill, radial disarm. Yes, it will increase the range to disarm enemies' radius. Yes. And you might also need to intensify because, as I said before, um, the, the first three skills doesn't do does not do damage. So like, what twenty four? Well, it's for the ultimate, the fourth skill, radial disarm. It also does damage, and you need this. Ball strength, you need yeah, you need this. Yeah, yeah, you probably need this. And maybe, uh, maybe some not really important, not really important mod I would say for Loki. Rush to increase your speed, of course. Increase your speed. Why do I need this? Because it's a freaking assassin. So yes, you need this. Like imagine you want to go sneak up on an enemy, like, or you want to do a capture mission. You should definitely need this to chase. And Loki will be a perfect. Perfect, perfect Warframe for almost everything. Yeah, because rush. Yes, just go invisible and sneak up behind them and kill them. Well, unless you're playing survival, that's different story right there. Yes, but you can just you can also support your teammates by having that. You can just run behind the enemy and kill them easily, and helping your teammates. And okay. So, if there's enemy chasing you, right, right here. So, I just have to get some few enemies. Okay, so that's an enemy right there. That's like two. Put a stone down there. The decoy. Your first ability. And you run away. And make, you'll make it safe and sound. And there will often be an enemy at the other side. And they'll be distracted by the clone. 
Put more clothes by the way, you can make them distracted by the clothes. And now you can make a, a chance for you to run away. And another cool trick you can do your clone with you can use a clone as a teleportation device. I can show you how. Take it over there and use your teleportation. I can teleport right to your clone like that. Or you can use your enemy. And that's how you trick them. Ah, come on, who has to be behind and I'll show you again. You guys can do that. And you can also turn invisible and do that. A pretty cool way to do a teleportation. Yes. And another example which you can use as a clone to teleport is over. I guess it may see it somewhere else quite far, like that around there. And you teleport. A smart way to trans teleport yourself and a nice way to travel around the map. Or you can do it a place where you can't get to. Okay, and that's actually another way. As you guys see over here, there's a green barrel because I'm doing a spy mission, am I right? Of course I'm right. So now you place a clone over there. Right there. And then you teleport. Nice! And that's how, <laughs> and that's how you, and that's how you bypass a spike. And now again this laser, as I show you guys, place it over there. Or you can just place it over there right there. And it will give you an opening for you to shoot. Pretty neat and simple. Like a door opener where, you, where, where the door won't close. That is very annoying for the door to be closing. And that's the situation like this, am I right? And that's the clone, and on. That's a very bad situation right here, so let's go right there. And there we go. Let's shoot them from up here. And done. I suggest getting Bolt of Prime for. Survival missions, for defense, for capture missions, sabot- no, no sabot- no. Yes, I prefer getting- I prefer some Walter Prime or those assault guns which you like for um, for survival, mobile defense, defense Yes, or an extreme mission Or, I don't know, um, yeah, that's it, that's correct for sabotage, for spy missions, use threat or something that it doesn't. Also, you can also use. You can also, you can use water guns if you want, but yeah. But I prefer doing. But, but it's just my preference for doing. You know. Yeah. Well, so I would say. Rocky requires a lot of um, skills to play, so he is like the master of mani my manipulation in this game. Yes, so try not to get your ass raped by these guys really easily. Yes, actually, you will, your lot arm is them less, so pretty much you have to be careful while playing him. For such bad crowds, like uh, not like this, I have to get try to get a, like a bunch of uh, big crowd. Hmm, let me just try to get one. Hmm, I think this. No, this is not alright. Um, I maybe that's alright. Ah, crap! Maybe not not enough. Just with these guys because these guys are not being assholes and not being not having teamwork. Okay, as you guys can see over here, if you guys care for bad crowd, just ready to disarm. I'll take that. Take the privilege to use long range weapons. They're pretty much useless against you. And then now you can shine your abilities with your melee attacks. All those of you who just who love to use melee attacks now can shine. Especially Valkyr. Yes, Valkyr. Maybe no, no I don't I don't call him Valkyr inside. I don't yeah, actually Valkyr works. She she don't even need to use her stereo anymore, just I mean she doesn't even have to use a pull yet. Yeah. Maybe the enemy just gonna keep chasing after. Yeah. A very useful kit. 
Ready to disarm. For large, this is a very useful skill for like using in the void, like very large crowds. Yes. So that's it for Loki Prime or Loki, you could say. It's the tutorial, the guide, tips and tricks <laughs> for Loki Prime or Loki, yeah, what you say. So yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do more videos of this. It's pretty fun to do. I uh, to record each separate, separate clips and you know just show you how to play and yeah, pretty simple, pretty neat to do, pretty fun to do. Yeah, it's a very f um, a very helpful way to help new players of Loki like how to play. It's not it's not boring until he reach like level ten where he got all these skills, or like you get um. Like you know, you like um, get a very long duration for the decoy and invisibility. It will be very fun. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please do leave a like and subscribe for more of this contents of Warframe. I'm doing my best right now. And sorry for the pixel uploads. Not a pixel one. Pokemon we see the skies. I might have to think of that late later because I might reconsider um. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna think about it later on. So, see you guys. Goodbye, guys.